The Halloween event trailer released for TDX yesterday, and it was quite the spectacle. But although this trailer seems like it didn't reveal much, there was actually quite a bit more than you would think that was shown in this trailer. So, let's get into what was revealed. The first thing they revealed were the main enemy mechanics. In this section, you can hear them say, Arise, O Horde. Here, listen to it. Arise, o Horde. And while they say this, this necromancer looking guy summons tons of enemies around him. You will also notice, like many things in this trailer, it has a purple calamity symbol. We still have no idea what these different colored calamity symbols mean yet from all these leaks we've been getting, but we'll have to wait to find out. And in the next section, it says, Arise, O Possessed. Here you go. Arise, O Possessed. And another Calamity figure can be seen possessing the Golden Juggernauts, which for some reason have swapped guns with the Top Path having Bottom Path's gun and Bottom Path's having Top Path's, but anyways, the more interesting thing is the word Possessed. We've seen Resurrection in the game with Resurrected Johns, Resurrected Laser Gunners, you know the deal, but not Possession. This might be just different word choice, but it could mean something huge for the lore. Another important thing is that this enemy is seen flying whenever it is on screen. Just as a reminder, we haven't seen flying enemies in TDX before. This could be just design, but it could also mean we will be getting flying enemies in the next update which would be crazy, and it would make sense because just in the last update, they added the attack helicopter. Again, we'll have to wait to see though. The final line they close this segment off with is, Arise, O Corrupted. Arise, o corrupted. We're more familiar with this term, as this is how the Void corrupts towers and makes them fight each other, but... The interesting thing here is that the term corruption is being used for these bosses, not towers. No idea what that could mean, but just another detail you might not have seen is the corrupted here using a crucifix instead of the usual rocket launcher axe kind of thing. Just another interesting thing to notice. But anyways, that's enough with that segment, let's get on to the next one. In this segment, the narrator says, as you walk among the living, as you walk among the living. This could just be a word choice, again, to make the trailer dramatic, but if you have any idea what this phrase could mean, comment down your theories below. However, that's not the interesting part of the segment. The interesting part of the segment is this guy here. He clearly is not an enemy, as for one, he is not purple, but for two, he is being attacked by the established enemies. So, if he's not an enemy, and he's a friendly guy, then who could this be? We don't recognize this guy from anywhere, and it could just be a skin, maybe a slammer skin, but my theory is that this is the new tower for the Halloween event. Let me know if this is a familiar face in TDX, but I just do not recognize this guy from anywhere. He could be a new skin, or the new Halloween tower. And for the third segment, if we look on the right of the same frame, we see this guy. And we don't really recognize this guy either, but there is someone that he somewhat looks like. The Refractor. The Refractor has been teased for a good while now in TDX, and this could be the update that he has added. Again, we are not 100% certain who these two figures are in this frame, but chances are, this frame was being used to show the two new towers being added in the Halloween update, the Event Tower and the Refractor. But what do you think? Leave theories, stuff I missed, stuff I got wrong, and your own thoughts in the comments. Peace out guys, have a good day.